Hi everybody and welcome to this exciting new section, Advanced Concepts, Caching and Rate Limiting. So the first video of this section will be about adding posts pagination. So let's dive right in into our code editor. So what we want to do in this video is to create a sort of new functionality where we can paginate our posts. And to do that, we will work into the post controller. Right here into index, we don't want to retrieve all the posts that we want to see. So in this case, all the posts that are related to people that we are following or ourselves, but we want to paginate them. So pagination is a technique that is usually used because of performance issues. For example, if we have a ton of different posts, let's suppose we have like 1000 posts, we don't want to retrieve them all in one go, because of course the network will be super slow and our page will feel slow too. So what we want to do is to take some smaller chunks of posts, so maybe instead of 1000 we want to take 10 each time, and this will make possible for us to have a really quick application. So let's dive into Postman, and I have already created a lot of posts with the user1 from the last section. I have created 12 new random posts. And now if I go into index and I press send, as you can see, I have a ton of different posts. And here we have 14 new posts. So instead of seeing 14 new posts, we want to create this pagination system. And what the pagination system will enable us is to make possible that every time that we go into API slash post, we retrieve only a certain number of posts which we can also customize. So let's see what we can do right here into our code editor. First of all, we want a new parameter, which will be our pagination parameter. Okay, so the line of code that we just wrote means that we are declaring a new variable called pagination which we will first check if there is a parameter inside the query of the request. And we will take a look at where the query is inside the request. And if we have the pagination inside the query, we will just take that because it's a string. So we will just convert it into a number and take that. Otherwise, the default is 10. And the other thing that we need to do, except of pagination, is to specify the page where we are currently searching. So the new line about page is exactly the same. We are searching the query parameter. And then if we don't have that, the page will be by default one. So what does this mean? This means that we want to have a default pagination of 10. So we will retrieve just 10 posts at a time. And the page will start from the first one by default. Okay, now into the query. What's the way that we are going to do that into Mongoose and MongoDB? Well, we are going to use skip and limit. Skip and limit are two functions that will help us create our queries to make possible the pagination feature. So first of all, let's work with skip and then with limit. Okay, now let's explain those two functions. The limit one is pretty simple limit the number of items or documents that we are retrieving from the Mongo instance into the number of the variable pagination. So for example, limit the posts into 10 because our default is 10. Skip on the other hand means skip all the posts, all the documents that are below the current number. So for example, if we have 14 different posts in total that we want to retrieve and we are on the second page, we want to retrieve only the four that are left because the first 10 ones will be retrieving the first page. So this is exactly what skip does. If we are on the second page will be two minus one is one. And then times pagination will be 10. So we will skip the first 10 documents and we will retrieve only the remaining four. So let's now test this thing as we are expecting it to work. So right here, we are just using the defaults for now into postman. I will send this again. And as you can see, we are retrieving some stuff. And it should be just 10 things. Now, 
I'm adding page two into the query of our request. A query means everything that is after the question mark and also the query parameters will be divided from each other with an ampersand. So we are just specifying page for now, page two. In page two, as you can see, we have one, two, three, and four posts. This is because we have a total of 14 posts in this case, and page two has only four left because we had the pagination size of 10. Now, let's see if we change pagination size. I want to change it to three and not the default of 10. And now if we scroll back, we can see that we just get three posts. And if I go into page two, I will also see three other posts. And this is how you implement pagination. This is the query string that you can use to uh, modify the defaults that we have inserted. And to actually implement the feature, we just needed the variable pagination, the variable page, and also the functions skip and limit from MongoDB. So practically, this is all for this video.